Hi, my name's Freya, and I'm a developer at Anything World. Welcome to the third part of our Runtime API series, designed to get you up and running with each of the key modules present in the Anything World. In this video, I'll be covering Anything Speech. This module provides text-to-speech and speech-to-text functionality with only a few lines of code. The first thing I'll be covering is how to convert text-to-speech using your native Mac or PC text-to-speech agent. So let's get right into development. First of all, we need to create a script to call our text-to-speech from. I'm going to call this anything speech demo script. In addition to that, we obviously need to put that into the scene. So I'll create an empty game object in the scene and call this ETS agent. Drag this script onto that agent there. And now we're ready to start developing. So if I open up this script first, so the first thing I'm going to do is delete the update function. We won't be needing it for this part of the demonstration. And in order to access the anything speech functions, what we need to do is create an instance a reference to the instance of the anything speech class. Now the anything speech is a singleton like the other modules that we've seen in previous videos. So we can either directly access it using anything speech dot instance and then we have our functions or we can create an instance of it and then reference that. So I'm going to create an instance of it to make it look a bit cleaner um, but you can do it either way. So I'm going to call it anything speech speech equals anything speech dot instance and now we can access the functionality. So now I've created a reference to the, to the anything speech singleton. And we can now call upon the speak function located within the anything speech script. So we'll go for our anything speech and then speak. Now speak just takes in a string for what you want the TTS module to say. So I'm going to have this one say hello world with an exclamation mark for a bit of a pep plastic. Let's save our script. So now I've saved that script, let's give it a test. Once we press play, we should hear the text to speech speech agent say hello world, but we'll be hearing it with the Windows text to speech. Hello world. And as you can see, that's all working correctly. Now, before we move on, there's a couple of things I just quickly wanted to cover, and that's to do with consecutive lines of text to speech and directly referencing the singleton instance of anything speech. Now, before we move on to the speech to text part of this video, I'd like to explain a couple of things about the TTS system in anything world. So if we open up our script again really quick, if we have a second statement here, so speech.speak, and uh, this is the second line. So just to clarify, this line will not interrupt this line, and this line will not cancel out this line. So when you request any speak ring, they'll be queued up and play consecutively one after another. I'll quickly show you now. Hello world. This is the second line. As you can see, they just play uh, one after another, which is useful when you want to request multiple lines of text, but don't want them to either cancel each other out or uh, interrupt one another, which is sometimes the case with speech libraries like this. The second thing I quickly wanted to cover is the fact that you can ac access the anything speech instance directly. So you can just do this by doing anything speech dot instance and then you can access any functionality that you need script itself. Let's just put anything here so we can test it. And this is great if you don't want to bother with defining a dedicated variable reference the anything speech singleton, although it is a little bit more typing in the long run. So if we save that there and just test it really quick. Yeah. Hello world. This is the second line. Testing the instance. As you can see, those three statements work perfectly, and that's just something to consider. So the next thing we'll be showing you is the speech to text library, which is a little bit more complicated than TTS, uh, but I'm going to show you step by step how to get it set up, so it should be a lot easier. Now moving on, I'm going to cover the speech to text part of the anything speech module. This functionality basically allows you to record input from your microphone um, and it will convert it to text and you can obviously use that text to do whatever you want. In our package we use it to take input from the user and then pass that to the anything creator so that people can create things with their voice. So obviously you can use it for whatever purposes you want in your project. So that wraps up the first part of this video um, on the anything speech module. We covered the text to speech system. In the second part of the video we'll be covering the speech to text uh, part of the anything speech module. Thank you for watching and see you there.